Hello and thank you for joining me. In this video tutorial I will discuss the advanced options under the design tab. Let's start from the top. The first of these options is entitled load control. This determines the number of pages that are loaded as on a thumbnail view to the left or to the right of the page being viewed. If we take a look at a sample magazine and remember this magazine is in skinless mode so let's pull up the thumbnails on the bottom of the screen. You can count that there are approximately six thumbnails being shown to the left or to the right of the page that I'm viewing. If I move further into the magazine my view is slightly different so I can have six loaded at any one time to the left or to the right of the page that I'm viewing within the magazine. And that's what we mean by page load control. The next option is our default language. At the moment, it's set by default to have English US version of English only. And this refers to all of the text that will be presented to your end reader. For example, if I take a look at a features panel, I can see that I'm presented with all of the options and all of the text tags are appearing to me as an end reader in English. I may choose to change. Let me show you how to add another language to the system so that all of those messages will appear to your end reader in their preferred language instead. Under the option library on the top menu, I beg your pardon, under the option options, we have translations, which can also be brought up using F3. In translations, you can see that at the moment we have only one language applied, English, and we have all of the translations for all of the items within the system. Bookmarks, buttons, company information, and all of those categories below. Now, if I choose to add another language, I simply go up to the top of this bar, and the first button beside the word languages is new. So I simply add a new language, and I can call that, for example, a Spanish language, and press enter to OK that. And then I select my Spanish language, which is the one I want to work with, and I simply come across here, double click on the field where it says translation, and I can change the text here. And I can do that for all of the items within the system. And that will be saved under the Spanish language. So let me just click OK on that. And you can see that because I've added Spanish as a second language under the options menu, on the top menu on our system, I now have Spanish to choose from as my default language. So many of you may be asking at this point, what if I want to publish one of these magazines to an English audience and the magazine also to a Spanish audience. Well, in, in that case, you would first publish, build the magazine with English as your default language. And then secondly, you come along here, choose Spanish, and then build the magazine so that you can then make it available under a different URL to a Spanish-speaking audience. Next item that you see on screen is page numbering starts on. With many commercial magazines, they may not want their pages to be numbered on the front cover, for example, and perhaps even the inside two leaves. So they may decide, for example, only to start applying the numbering on page number three. In that case, the magazine will begin its print page numbers on page number three. Exit URL. When your magazine reader has finished reading the magazine, it's always good practice to move them onto a page of your choice. So, for example, the brochure or the publication they may be viewing may be part of an outbound email campaign, and when they finish reading the promotional brochure, you may want them to move to a landing page associated with that campaign. So, the exit URL refers to the page where your end reader will go when they have closed reading your magazine. The last area on the screen is called Enable Scripting Features. This refers to all instances where your end reader may be sharing information from, with your mag in, from within your magazine with an external audience. They may do so by sharing via email, via a bookmark, 
by setting some notes within the magazine and sharing those notes with their friends, or by simply placing a comment back to the editing team within the magazine. You can choose to enable or to disable those scripting features. If you choose to disable the scripting features, it's important that you realize that your end reader can still go ahead and share via Facebook and Twitter and Google+. It's just that the, the end reader's friends will not receive a default email accompanying that share. Okay, so as it says on screen, disabling the script file features will remove script files from the issue folder and disable features that depend upon them, such as sharing via email and the comments button. Click yes to disable, otherwise click no. So for the moment, let's click no. Let me just give you a look at one of these options. If my end reader chooses to share via email, at the moment we present you with a default email context. And you can see here that they're being sent a message by someone. Someone sent you an article. Someone sent you this article. And then it gives the URL so that the end reader or the recipient of the email can view the article. And then your friend's message. And the message is entered. Okay, so that message will be grabbed from the end reader on the end reader screen. Now you can manipulate this, you can change it into another language, for example, or you can add more appropriate text. And if I choose bookmark, then when the end reader chooses to share a bookmark, this is the default email that would accompany that. The same for notes. And last but not least, comment. So if an end reader wants to comment on the magazine, that comment email by default will go back into the editors of the magazine. Now, the very final field on the screen refers to server, and that refers to the email server that's being sent, that's being used to share and to enable all of these scripting features via email. So you can determine which best fits your configuration within your organization. And you can choose to configure that server within this context if you so choose. Okay, so just to reiterate on that final section, that's what we call our scripting features. And you can choose to enable the scripting features. If you choose to do so, all of the default email templates provided in these four sections will accompany that share. If you choose to disable the scripting features, then your end reader still has the ability to share via Facebook, Twitter, and Google+, but they will no longer have the accompanying email. And that concludes this section on looking at the advanced options under the Design tab. Thank you for watching.